Welcome to Whining with Joe. I'm out here for the first time in Paso Robles area of the Central Coast looking at one of our Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards that we've been working with for, oh, at least 15, 20 years now. Uh, so we're just starting to see a little bit of leaves leafing out. And I wanted to kind of talk about what we have going on here in a vineyard in Paso Robles. Something a little different. I, I want to talk about um, what the vines did right after harvest last year. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the camera. And we're going to look at some of the vines and talk about post-harvest vines and then what occurs and then how important that is to the vines when they come out of dormancy now in uh, the beginning of April 2013. So, Whining with Joe, first vineyard trip to Paso Robles uh, in 2013. So let's go ahead and check things out. All right, we can see right now that uh, we have some leaves just starting to leaf out. So we have bud break now. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon vineyard in the Paso Robles area of the Central Coast. And I want to kind of talk about the importance of what occurred right after harvest last year. So, you know, we're not normally out in the vineyard post-harvest because we are so busy at the winery down there uh, taking the beautiful grapes that we get from all these different vineyards and producing wine from them. So we don't have an opportunity to come out and talk about the vineyard post-harvest. But what's very important is right now you see the vines are denuded of any leaves other than just the very beginning. But when harvest occurs you want to still have about two weeks of leaves, full leaves, on the vine that are still green and still producing energy because you want the vine to have a couple of weeks of photosynthesis so it can start storing carbohydrates producing energy carbo in the form of carbohydrates and then taking that down into the root structure down in the ground and storing it as the vine goes into dormancy. Vines don't, aren't green and growing year round. They actually drop all their leaves sometime in November, December, and then they go into a dormancy until sometime in the spring. But what's very important is, is that right after that harvest occurs, you still have something like two weeks or so of sunlight sunlight and also leaves on the vines so the vines can produce energy in the form of carbohydrates that carbohydrates are then stored in the root structure and then the following spring the vine calls on those energy sources when there's no leaves to produce energy to have the buds actually break and push new leaves so then the new leaves can produce energy for the following year. So that's something that's really important and we don't really normally have much of an opportunity to talk about that because as I said we are so busy at the winery making wine from the grapes that have been harvested. We're not out here post-harvest. So just wanted to kind of share that with you. So I'm here, Paso Robles, 2013. This is my first visit to a vineyard in the Central Coast area. And this is Cabernet Sauvignon. And you can see this is the beginning of April and you're just starting to see the butt break. Just starting to see it. 